Got another video here from CHCH News here in Hamilton, and it says new reports suggest six million more people living in poverty than what stat can data shows. So let's have a look at this, and then we'll talk about it like like uh, usual. Shocking new report from Food Banks Canada estimates one in four Canadians are living in poverty compared to the government's official poverty rate of ten percent. They cannot afford two or more items out of our 11 item scale, which includes essentials like, you know, being able to go to a job interview or being able to dress for a job interview, being able to afford uh, meat uh, every other day, being able to uh, uh, get around their community. The report uses a poverty metric called the Material Deprivation Index, which measures poverty by looking at if households cannot afford two or more essential items or services. Now, traditionally, poverty in Canada has been measured by a metric called the Market Basket Measure, which adds up the cost of a modest basket of essential items and services to determine how much income is needed to pay for them. The Neighbor to Neighbor Center, which is a Hamilton food bank, says the new metric calculating a poverty rate of 25% is reflective of what they are seeing in their work. What we are seeing in our food bank and, and broadly across uh, Hamilton, our colleagues, it is reflective of this report. Um, you know, we are, we are seeing um, our, our, our um, the amount of food that we're, we're seeing uh, go out our door has increased. Um, you know, the amount of people uh, coming into our center it is up, right? Um, the average use uh, in 23 24 was 1,600 families. Uh, last month, we see that trend continuing. Uh, the month of May, we had 1,700 families come in, uh, or sorry, households come in, and that's what representing about 5,000 people, um, you know, each month. And, uh, you know, this last fiscal year, we actually saw our highest on the record ever, 18, um, 1,800, uh, you know, visits. Uh, we have no visits left at. Neighbor to Neighbor Center Executive Director Barrington Hector says incomes are not keeping pace with the cost of living, and that's the main driver behind increased poverty and food bank use. You know, it's it's just really sad to see, you know, <clears throat> six million more people than they thought. Now, again, are, are they so stupid where they miscalculated by six million people or are they just underreporting because they know that's startling and that's going to affect them even more in the polls? Now, I did just see a new uh, Angus Reid poll uh, that Canada Proud put up on X, and it's saying that um, Jagmeet Singh and Trudeau right now are basically neck and neck. Trudeau's at 21%. Actually, I'll see if I can pull this up here. And it says that uh, Singh was, I believe he was at 20. Let's see if I can find this here. Maybe I can't Let's see. Okay, I think I got it up here. Sorry about that. Just be one more second here. Yeah, so right here, right? It says new poll finds that Trudeau has nearly fallen behind the NDP. So you have Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives who are at 42%. The Liberals are at 21 and the NDP is at 20, blocks at 10, Greens at 5. I mean, again, it's still baffling that 21% of people will still potentially vote for this guy. That being said, though, it was at 25 not too long ago. So we're going in the right direction, Canada. We just need to, I mean, really, that number should be zero. It's not going to be, but it should be like 5 or 10% with all the garbage, with all the scandals, with all the corruption, with all the taxes, with all the greed, with all the warmongering. It's, it's just, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that a lot of people still... We'll vote for him. And if you combine the, the combine the two liberal parties, if the NDP just said, hey, we got to get the conservatives out of here and just went over to the liberals, it would be close. At least in terms of the national vote. I, I don't think it would be close in terms of the seating still, but it's still it's just kind of baffling. I don't even know what, what, what other word you can use for it to see 41% of voters voting for either a communist wannabe party or a socialist wannabe party. But anyway, you know, back to some of the stats they were showing in that video, you know, 1600 a month on average in 2023 here in Hamilton, which is a lot. And this year so far, they said in May 1700 and in June 1800. And they also said that there was, I think it was 5,000 people increase a month so far this year, like for all the months combined. 
I mean, I just, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why people don't understand that these people are not incompetent. They're not, they're not just making mistakes and go, uh, mistakes and going, oh, whoops, the rich got richer. Oh, whoops, the poverty's up. Oh, whoops, no one can afford a house. Oh, whoops, immigration's up. No, this is all done on purpose. He's not stupid, guys. He's evil. And I, I'm, I'm going to keep repeating that until people understand, because a lot of people I talk to in my personal life seem to not understand this either. Well, you know, he's just incompetent. You know, he used to be a drama teacher. He's not really a... Yeah, I understand all that. And I understand he was already unqualified to be the prime minister anyway. But this is on purpose. He is the puppet of global uh, globalist elitists who want to completely destroy the middle class. And if you disagree with that, let me ask you one question. Let's just say that you're right and they're not uh, trying to destroy the middle class. Well, if they were trying to, what would they do differently? Everything that you would do to destroy the middle class, to destroy a society, is exactly what they're doing now. So, you know, take that for you know, what you want to take it for. But anyway, definitely leave uh, your thoughts in the comment section. I mean, this is getting really sad. Hopefully most of you guys are okay. You don't have to use food banks. But if you are, you know, you know, I, I really feel your struggle. And I hope things get better for you soon. And hopefully, you know, once we get out of this Trudeau mess... We can actually start, you know, making some progress again for the middle class. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really, really, really helps my channel grow. And I appreciate all of you who do that. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching. And I'll be back shortly with another video.